Hey guys, welcome back to Forensic Spatial. I am Katie Scheuer and I am here to increase your spatial impact. Today, I wanted to talk to you guys. There are some reasons that you might not want to actually be a GIS analyst in the traditional sense. What do I mean by a traditional GIS analyst? Well, I mean an analyst that is in a public sector position that is dealing with an ESRI enterprise. You'll find these people in utilities, in state, county, you know, you name it kind of government. You will find them typically managing assets. So why don't you want to be one of those people? Well, reason number one that a GIS analyst might not be for you is if you want a high salary with lots of bonuses. Now, when you're in a public position, you're typically not going to be up for bonuses. If you do a really great job at a very big project, you're probably just gonna get a pat on the back and a good job. If you go over to the private sector, and especially somebody in sales, you're more likely to see a lot of bonuses, you're going to see financial investment in you. That's how they promote people, that's how they recognize people. Well, that just doesn't happen as much in the public sector, if at all. And if you're in a union position, it'll probably happen even less. So reason number two that you might not want to be a traditional GIS analyst is if you want to have lots of advancement opportunities. Now, if you're looking for a position that you are going to be able to climb the corporate ladder. This probably isn't it for you. <laughs> um, while there are definitely larger government organizations and larger utilities where you might have a team that has a technician, an analyst, a specialist, a coordinator, a manager kind of thing that you can grow up into. A lot of them start in smaller areas, in smaller towns, in smaller states where you might be one of two, three, four, maybe five. Those people aren't necessarily going to be going anywhere and the only way for you to advance into that type of position is if they leave. So hey guys, if you are getting value out of this, make sure to give it a like and make sure to hit subscribe down below. I would really love to have you back. I have a whole bunch of really great stuff that's coming for you, especially if you are looking to get a career in GIS. So reason number three is if you want to be on the leading cutting edge of technology. A lot of people that have Esri EA licensing where you have basically everything that Esri has available to you you have the tools to be able to do a lot of these things, but they're just not a priority. They're not an initiative for the place that you're working for. And so you're more likely going to be crunching data and making sure that workflows are kept up than you are going to be on the leading edge of some machine learning project that's gonna be going forward. If you really want to be on that cusp of like awesome technology and that's where you want to thrive, I would look at startups or look at engineering firms or some other software firm that's looking at adding some geospatial to their package and that might be something that is more fulfilling for you. So number four is if you want to be in a data-driven culture. If you want to be able to thrive in that data-first mindset, eh, the public sector might not be for you. And in that traditional GIS role, you might be the only one that's really using data to make decisions and drive those decisions. This can be a great place if you want to be able to bring that as a, an asset to the organization that you're working for. But if you want to be somewhere where you're going to be constantly inundated with data and you're going to be constantly bringing in streams of information that you can manipulate and play with and you're having people asking you for reports and statistics, you might want to move into the private sector and find a company that is focused on using large amounts of data to make decisions. Number five is if your goal is to be a geospatial data scientist. What do I mean by geospatial data scientist? I mean the person that wants to go out and use machine learning to use algorithms to discover new things and wants to be on an agile team that is going to be developing new things with new information that they discover through geospatial science. If that is your ultimate goal, 
you might want to start in government and get used to using the software and kind of learn a few things, but ultimately you might be looking for something either that is very advanced or a company that is focused on using geospatial information to discover new things about their customers or the products that they're selling. So here's a bonus tip for you of why you might want to be a GIS analyst in the traditional sense. You want to make a big impact. You want to be that go-to person. If you want to be able to use your knowledge to make a big difference in the place that you live, then this is the perfect job for you. Not only do you get the security of being in a public job, but you also get the impact of knowing that you are servicing the people that you live around. There is something that is extremely powerful about that. It also means that if you are on a small team or hey, if you're the only GIS person, you are going to be relied upon. You are going to have to have the knowledge on how to develop that GIS system to meet the needs of your organization. There's a lot of responsibility that goes into that and there is a lot of information that you can discover. There is a lot of doors that you can open and you can know that you're making a huge impact in your community. So that's all I got for you guys today. Thank you for watching this video and I will see you soon. Bye.